Hello, I'm Sakshi from Capstan, your in-house DevSecOps engineer. Capstan is a simple solution for developers to instantly provision well-architected infrastructure. In this video, we are going to explore how Capstan simplifies the deployment of real-world applications. I will use a sample application provided by Microsoft, a pet product store, for this demonstration. Let's take a look at the architecture for this pet product store. We will deploy two interfaces, one where the end customer can browse the pet products and purchase them easily, and another store admin interface to manage listings and process orders. This application is built on microservices architecture. It uses event-driven design and leverages some of the common open source services. We will deploy these microservices within a Kubernetes cluster. Let's see how we can get all of this up and running using Gaston in a matter of few clicks. To get started, visit capstan.io and click on Start for Free. You can sign up using any of the available social logins. I already have an account created using GitHub and I'm going to use the same. Once the account is set up, you will be asked to create an organization in Capstan. This will typically be your company name and that's why I have named it Pet Store. Capstan provisions infrastructure in your cloud account. So let's create a cloud connection from Capstan to the AWS account. For this, all I need is my AWS account ID and Capstan will take care of the rest. To get the AWS account ID, open uh, your AWS console and click on the top right corner on your name. You can copy the account ID from here and paste into Capstan. Once that's done, just click on confirm and Capstan will create a cloud, cloud formation template to provision a role with necessary permissions. Once you're redirected to the AWS console with a pre-filled template, you can simply scroll to the bottom of the page, check the acknowledgement, and click on Create Stack. This will take about a minute. And we're connected. So now we're going to set up a workspace. Workspaces are a way to create isolated environments in Capstan that don't share resources. Generally, one workspace parallels a deployment, like development and production deployments, or even deployments in various regions. As an example, let's say I'm opening my first pet store in India. I'll name this Pet Store India. I will select the AWS connection that we just created, and I will select the desired AWS region to deploy in and create the workspace. Next, let's create a virtual network inside which we'll deploy all the applications. All I need for this is an identifier for the network and the CIDR block. Let's create it. It takes a few minutes to launch the virtual network completely and I fast forward it and we have the network ready. Once the virtual network is launched, we can now provision a Kubernetes cluster to de deploy the containerized applications in. To set up the cluster is as simple as giving an identifier and mentioning the virtual network to launch it in. Let's do that. Provisioning of Capstan's opinionated Kubernetes cluster has now started. Note that Capstan picks up the right version and the best configuration to bring up this cluster. You do not need to worry about spending a few days every quarter to keep upgrading the CKS cluster to the latest version. Capstan will take care of it out of the box. Provisioning of Kubernetes cluster takes a few minutes as well. I skipped ahead to show you that the cluster has been successfully provisioned and you can find all the attributes for this cluster by clicking on the Kubernetes cluster uh, section over here. To deploy the applications, next we will have to fetch the images for all the microservices. I have all the containerized images present in my GitHub account. So let's connect to the same and we'll pull those images. I'll use my GitHub username and I'll need a token from GitHub. I already have a pre-generated token and I'm going to paste that in. And the namespace is GitHub's organization name uh, from which we need to pull the images. We're all set towards our final step, which is deploying the applications now.
you can either deploy an application in cap stand using custom image and configurations or you can deploy using helm charts i'm the first application that i'm going to deploy is storefront and for that i'm going to use a container application i'll add the application name over here and Capstan will autofill all the necessary cluster related information. Let's now add a container to this application. I will select the GitHub connection we just created. It will here list all the packages and I will choose uh, storefront from it as that's the application that I'm going to deploy. And I will select the desired version. Since this application needs to be accessible by the world, I will have to enable the ingress for the same. So uh, let's go to the application configuration and enable the ingress and uh, make it internet facing. I also want to run it on HTTPS and uh, I will uh, add a TLS certificate for this application. I will have to verify this later on Route 53. I need to configure the environment variables next. You can do so either by uploading them or manually adding them. I'm going to use an environment variable file that I created and I'll upload them directly. Capstan provides an option to mark these environment variables as secret. Sensitive values like password can be marked as secret and Capstan will store them in a secure vault. As a last step, let's also add uh, a communication port for this application. We're all set. Let's deploy this application now and it should be done in a few seconds. Next, let's see how we can verify the certificates attached to this application. You can find the created TLS certificates under the infrastructure section. From the details, you will get the fully qualified domain name and the value that you will need to copy and add to Route 53, Amazon's Route 53 for verification. So you can do that uh, like I'm doing on the screen right now. All right, so while the certificate is getting verified, um, let's set up the rest of our applications. We'll deploy MongoDB next. For that, uh, we're going to use an image for MongoDB that I have in the container registry. So I'll give it a application name and create a container. Um, and I'll just use the image from my container registry. I'll specify a communication port for it as well so that uh, it can talk to the rest of the applications within the communities cluster. And next I'm going to deploy RabbitMQ. And for this, I'm going to use a Helm chart directly. I will use a Bitnami hosted Helm chart over here. I'll, uh, I'm just adding the basic details and uh, I'll add the chart name uh, and I have the uh, repository URL as well as the YAML configuration that needs to be put in here. So I'll just uh, directly copy paste it over here. And deploy. All right, similarly, I can deploy the rest of the services using this easy interface. I'll fast forward and meet you once the applications are ready. And there I have it, all the applications are up and running successfully. I also wanted to show you that Capstan keeps a log of all the deployments that we do. 
So you can visit any application and look for uh, look for the deployments tab and you'll find the history of all the deployments done over here. Now that all the services are up and running, I want to see our pet store in action. So I'm going to get the load balancer URL from uh, the application configuration over here and voila, our pet store is up and running. I'm going to try and create an order now. And I have my admin portal open in the next tab. So let's check out this order and see if we receive the order over there. That's our admin portal. Let's refresh it. And there we have it. It was so easy to set up uh, the online pet store in uh, one of the regions. And I think it's time for expansion in other regions now. For this, I will be using another cool feature that Capstan provides, workspace cloning. I want to launch my next pet store in California. So I'll create a new workspace and I'll clone it from the existing workspace that we just created. So I select pet store India and then I will um, select my AWS account and a different region this time. I will deploy uh, things in uh, US region and that's it. Capstan has created all the resources and applications in draft mode by copying the configuration from the existing workspace. I can review all the configurations and fix as needed and launch infrastructure and applications even more quickly. I'm going to now review and verify all the necessary configurations for infrastructure in the background and uh, just skip ahead a few seconds. Now that all my infrastructure resources are ready to provision, let's take a look at the applications uh, very quickly. You can see that all the applications have also been cloned successfully. So let's uh, go back to the infrastructure and click on provision. And there it is. All the infrastructure resources are now just going to get provision and you can similarly provision, you can similarly deploy all your applications as well. That's how Capstan makes it really simple to bring up well-architected infrastructure with minimal set of inputs and you can deploy your custom applications or any open source applications in just a few clicks. Today, we just had to deploy a virtual network and then a Kubernetes cluster. And then we got in all our application images and there we were, it was done. So if you found this helpful, do try out Capstan today. You can do so by visiting capstan.io. Thank you for watching and see you next time.